Hey all, welcome back to another cyberpunk video. So we're going to do a main story with Panam, I guess, today, or Judy, I'm not sure yet. Hey. Can you come over, Stat? Something happen? Yeah. Just come. That uh doesn't sound very good. But we're gonna go talk to Pan Am. V, it's good you're here. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure, it was Wraiths. We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but I felt I could count on you. Always, Pan Am. You and me are chooms. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grodd. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Her? After what happened to Scorpion, she shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Apparently, I don't like her very much. Oh, she has... $2,500 reward. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Lean against the car. Where? Oh. Okay. How do you want to do this? Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting well, that's more fun. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp while I cover you. Wait, meaning it's just gonna be us two. What about all you guys? Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek, static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we might. So we do what Saul would want us to do. Mm-hmm. We wait and gather our strength. There's Mitch. Hey there, V. I floated a drone over the race camp. We have live eyes on it. Will you take a look? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in with a massive heavy gear. So he got captured. This would be a better name for them. They fly into a Must place. got lured in or something. Gun, move on. But this time, do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why? Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in? Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. 
Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? There it is. That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building. There. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. Be like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local cabinet. You would just need to find the control room. People don't notice a, dr a drone flying around? Alright. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay. Got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Go in guns blazing. Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him on my back. So, that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. Want me driving? Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Are you sure? What? Oh. With me driving, she's likely to like even have a radio shoot with. herself by accident. Take it for a spin if you like. He let himself get captured. Anyone else? Uh, we're good. Saul? Said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Saul I remember. All had our idols. I know. It's just. Glory days are over, I guess, right? I can't be stealthy, like, no matter what I do, like, I can try to go stealth right away, but... I always just end up shooting people. I mean, I think I have a sniper rifle, or not a sniper rifle, but like a silenced gun. Do you see that? That is one hell of a storm! Looking... bad. Oh, it's bad and more than it's look. We have to move quickly. We need to so no stealth. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. That's pretty much the only stealth I'll probably be doing. Uh, how do I... Oh, up there? Jeez, who's the box baron? Alright, I'm in position. I have you in range. Uh. 
Okay, you're near the main structure. Ooh, there's a lot of them. That has to be where they're holding Saul. Damn it, stay out of sight! Can I, like, sneak in there somehow? I wonder. Would you look at that? Okay, main building. Watch for vermin. Saul is somewhere inside. I feel it in my bones. Remember what I told you. Find the control room and you'll gain access to the security camps. Ah. Hey, shouldn't you be downstairs? Well, I'm sort of being sneaky. Let's go free Saul, I guess. Hey, even when they die now, like, it feels a lot better. Like, usually before, they would just, just sort of, like, hit the floor and freak out a bit, but this is actually, like, yeah, the animations. Right. I think I got eyes on him. Is he? Breathing? I think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Saul? Do, do, do you... Have my goddamn cigar. Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But she left. Not forever. Gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. <clears throat> You're pretty badly beat. Probably could use this. Time to don my dancing shoes. He'll live. Now get yourselves out of there. On our way out now. I'm firing up the engine. I'll be right there. You. Got by the posted guards. Uh-huh. And if we can be just as sly together, might get out without firing a shot. Exactly. Wait a sec. I don't have enough skill points? Wait it. Technical ability? I mean, sure. Recharge for grenades. Yes. Okay. Um, you know, I'll spend skill points later. Look at that. Skill point went right when you need it. don't think I've ever gotten out of here like so sneakily I wasn't even trying to be sneaky I was just like oh, I'm probably gonna get seen but no not today
That storm is picking up steam. Good. It'll cover our tracks. So I never alerted anyone, though. To head straight back to camp. There's no need to play it safe. We'll just burn time. Better late and safe than dead. Do you see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! <sighs> I need to catch my breath. Is there a light switch? Just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just saw that one sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, V? I'll search in here. to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burned. Oh man, dust storm. Oof, not nice. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? Yeah, it usually takes me a lot longer than that, but... Super sneaky. Ooh, that looks really warm. See what I see? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky. Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? Go on, get off your feet. It could be ours. No, no lecture. But we do need to talk. That raid's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, offloading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you had mounted a raid of your own, well, that would have been the end of- Not the time for this. You're both exhausted. Maybe you're right. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? V, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. If you're gonna bloody the furniture, keep me out of it. We've had our spats. A few, like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. <laughs> huh. Tuck him into bed. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Whoa, what was that about? Two haboobs. Yeah. Two haboobs. Now that packs octane. And 
think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am? Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. <sighs> think I'm ready to turn in. I guess like for Mel V, uh, this is like the romance uh, scene. We deserve a good long sleep. And V, I am glad you came. It meant a lot to me. Ooh, do you hear that? Mm, nope. Hmm. Mm-hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but. When a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plate, I sure can't get any, should I? Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. You know, I don't think V would actually have a romantic interest, like, canonically. Because how, how could you do that to someone when you know you're going to die in, like, two weeks? You know, like, I think V would have just had, like, a bunch of friends, like a social network. Like, I don't know. To me, it's, like, kind of not fair to the person that you're wanting to be with, right? Like, that you would just die and die off in two weeks. Like, yeah, I don't know. What's up? Hey, did you sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. You gotta agree now. Next time I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Just not one to kick back and relax, are you? It's not my style, no. I'm back with the clan, sure, but I have things to do. Come on. Most times, Saul's views drivel, mongers fear. But I have to grant him this. The wraiths, the raid, it's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas, you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Aldecaldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Oh. Overwatch. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I, I don't know. use sniper rifles, but it's all good. So, uh... Thank you. Once again. Glad I could help. Glad I did. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. I like it here. Reminds me of uh, New Vegas. Uh, sniper rifle? No. Not that bad. Sniper rifles are okay, but not for the build I'm doing. Ding dong. In the bathroom! Oh, fuck. Oh! That's not good. Bird 
Rudolph's herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. I was... I was only gone an hour. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you! If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? What do you think, Johnny? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <laughs> give her a ticket. They'll be here soon. <laughs> Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? You know, to you, she's your best friend, so it's a terrible tragedy. But they must get dozens of calls like this every day. What are you? The fucking PR rep? No, just saying. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Did you wait outside? See ya. Oh. Close the door, V. Please. Bye bye. <sighs> Bama Sig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. Fuck, Evie. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong, Judy. Don't let this tear you down. Know what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? Rat. <laughs> Cranky. Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech wise, she was clean. Doll shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. He kept her, and had his way with her, the things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. I zeroed Woodman. Didn't plan on it, just how the chips landed. Glad I did, though. Me too. I can't even imagine. Still, it's not enough. 
There are so many more like him. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. I could leave that way, or I could just... Yeehaw! No. <laughs> I probably said the wrong thing to her that man. I don't I don't remember her telling me to leave like that in the, when I first did this. Oh, we got some thugs. Got some gangsters here. You know, I need to sell some stuff. Sell junk. Yes. Thirty dollars. Okay, so that's Saratoga. That's damage is 320. 23. I'm going to sell that and this. And I don't want that. Sell that. There, I got some money. I'm rich. Now, is there any, like, jobs to do here for a few minutes? Oh, there's an insult in progress. Kind of like doing those to waste time, like when my videos are rendering. So, let's go down here. Oh, hey, I remember doing this. There's some, like, a few hustles down here, I think. Hello. <laughs> Off goes his head. Too many limbs for you. Oh, hey, it's Pan Am. Hey, do you have a moment? Need to talk? I mean, no longer a moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. On my way. <sighs> Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Mm-hmm. See you soon. I guess that we will do that for next time, right? Just gonna mess around for a bit here. Um, oh, I missed a purple item. Ooh, red. What the heck? Bubble gum. Oh, what a weirdo. I missed some loot back here, apparently. 
somehow. I don't remember. Did I? Oh, right. This guy that I killed. It's a purple katana. Love how you can just like run around, take stuff. Actually, seeing like purples around is really nice too. I will have a so a pop. Oh no, that's a pie. This is pop. No, it's not. It's both food. I need a pop machine. Right, here we go. Hello, we haven't met. I'm Elizabeth. My husband and I, we need a somewhat delicate matter handled. We think you can. Sorry, really gotta go. You are not NCPD. You are Chad. My husband and I, we need a somewhat delicate uh. matter handled. We think you could help. Why call me of all people? Any particular reason? You Dude, go arrest him. Yahoo, bye. I'd rather not say, not over the phone. Is there any way we could meet, discuss some details? Sure, let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. Bro, you literally witnessed a murder. Fuck. <laughs> or at least assault. He's just like, nah, I don't want to deal with it today. I'm all good. Well, I mean, I guess that's it for today. So next time we'll do Pan Am and then I'm probably going to get called by Judy again. So there'll probably be a lot of that kind of stuff. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. We did some stuff. I did that ref or the, um, the race mission pretty quick. Usually I've never done it stealthy like that. So they, they usually chase you after you leave. And you have to like get in a firefight when you're leaving. So this is kind of interesting doing it this way. I mean, it's shorter, but I've really felt uh, it felt kind of wrong just like sneaking out and not like going out shooting. Yeah. But anyways, I will see you guys later.